Hi, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking and today we're going to make Pennsylvania Dutch potato donuts. Um, the reason I'm making them is it's for Fat Tuesday. Fat Tuesday is traditionally known as the day before um, Mardi Gras. Um, Mardi Gras uh, starts the season of Lent um, which is the days, well, the Ash Wednesday starts the season of Lent, the day after Fat Tuesday. And uh, Ash Wednesday is basically a day of atonement for Christians um, as they uh, remember the journey that Christ made uh, into Jerusalem before his crucifixion. So um, from Ash Wednesday to Easter is the time of Lent. Uh, both Catholics and some Protestant churches observe Lent. Uh, usually every Friday in Lent, um, uh, those observing go meatless, um, so it's fish or pizza time a lot of times. Um, and, and the reason Fat Tuesday is such a big deal is because everybody stuffs themselves with all the rich goodies that they really should deny themselves during Lent. Uh, during Lent it's time, uh, as said, during the Christian faith of, of somewhat of atonement and uh, retrospection. Uh, leading up into the days of Christ's crucifixion. So some people give up meat, some people give up sweets, uh, some people give up alcohol, some people give up whatever. My grandfather, um, he he used to have cigars, but he didn't smoke them. He would cut them off in little inch uh, sections and he would chew them. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but he was born in 1903 and that's just the way he did things. But for every Lent, he would give up chewing those, which used to really irritate my grandmother, uh, who said, well, if you can give it up for Lent, you can give it up for the rest of the time. And my grandfather would just smile and quit for the entire time of Lent. And after Easter, he'd start right back up again. And I think he really enjoyed just getting my grandmother's goat. Um, so anyway, a lot of the local churches, um, the big Catholic community around here, um, and a lot of Italians also that uh, observe Lent, along with a couple of uh, Protestant uh, sects as well, um, used to make have donut sales and everything for Fat Tuesday. And some of the bigger churches and bigger areas still do. It's getting harder and harder for the country churches to do it um, just because lack of help. You know, we just don't have as many people to do stuff and older people are passing away and younger people are working two jobs and it's hard to find the time to volunteer for anything. You know, our fire departments, everything are all crying for volunteers. So, um, I make them. And this is my mom's recipe. Um, I grew up eating these. I am not actually a really big donut eater. These are not yeast donuts. Um, but I mean like if I go to Dunkin Donuts and have donuts twice a year that's like a big deal. I, if I go to Dunkin Donuts I'm usually getting the croissants. <laughs> so uh, I'm not a big donut affectionate overall but I love these. These are just so good and they're pretty easy to do. Um, my fat, I use lard. You can use you know Crisco or anything else. But, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a Pennsylvania farm girl, so it's lard for me. So I have the fat um, warming up, and I'll bring it over, and we'll start putting this together. So the first thing we're going to do is combine our first few ingredients, and that's going to be mashed potatoes. And when I say mashed potatoes, that's what they are, mashed potatoes. No butter, no milk, nor anything else. Um, they're mashed potatoes. <coughs> if you have the other stuff in there, going to make too soft a dough. Um, a cup of milk, um, two tablespoons melted butter, and uh, three lightly beaten eggs. And we'll bring that up and we'll give that a mix. Okay, and so that's what our potato mixture looks like. Pretty creamy there. And now I am going to add in a um, couple, couple cups of sugar, a couple cups of uh, flour, and two tablespoons of baking powder. Okay, so this is our basic batter here. This is what it looks like, but it's still too thin for a basic dough. So we're going to keep adding flour 
so we get our dough to form up uh, so we can cut out our donuts. Uh, sometimes that takes up to three cups here, but it's a feel thing, and I'll show you what it looks like here when we get to where we want to go. Okay, so I got the rest of my flour added in, and now, now we have, now we have a stiff dough. And I'm going to divide this in half and then put it on my mat to roll out in about a half, half inch thickness uh, to cut out our donuts. Okay, as you can see here, I've got my two uh, balls of dough. You see how it looks here? And I'm just going to get this rolled out to about a half inch thickness. That's about right. And dip my cutter here in a little flour. And there you got a donut. And my favorite, the donut hole. Here you can see them coming up to the top and flying up nice. And here I'm turning them. See they're nice and golden brown. I'm going to let them get done so the undersides match the tops. Okay, these are evenly done, evenly brown as you can see. I'm going to take them out and let them drain here on a cloth and let the excess fat drain off and then we're going to roll them in cinnamon sugar and then we'll be done. And here's the second batch frying up. You see they're raising up nice and they get done pretty quick. So I'm flipping these over, over already so they won't get too brown. Then the final touch is doing these in cinnamon sugar. I take a couple uh, cups of sugar and a couple of teaspoons of uh, cinnamon, more if you like, and then I just toss these in. Shake them up good. And out come wonderful cinnamon covered Pennsylvania Dutch potato donuts. A tradition in these parts for Fat Tuesday, but good anytime. They're really a, a yummy treat. I like them better in the winter time because I don't eat as much heavy stuff in the uh, summer months, but uh, that's it. So this is what they look like when they're done. Pretty good. So, of course, I've got to try one. And I love the donut holes. Oh god. They're so light and fluffy. They're not a heavy donut. They're really good. So, that's how you make Pennsylvania Dutch potato donuts. Enjoy. Bye.